How's this spiny pose though? All right, boat bar's officially open. <laughs> We've accidentally found a brewery. Yeah, that's our major downfall. That was so much fun. <laughs> Driving up the driveway, it is quite a steep driveway. And our thing, I can't thing. even remember what it's called. Intercooler pipe. <laughs> Intercooler pipe has blown again. I wonder, I might get that other hose we've, plant. We've literally gone the whole trip without it happening. It's just obviously like up hills. Well, it's pressure. Don't worry, you don't need to know. I don't need to know. <laughs> I just know that it doesn't work anymore. Pretty pain in the ass. I do have, a, um, on the main lap, I did buy a spare, which is um, like a completely different brand, and it's uh, like a bit more of a solid pipe. So I might have to swap over that. I don't know. This is a pain in the ass, though. How's this spiny pose, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're five foot nothing and you want to work in the engine bay, halfway up a hill, it's what you got to do. We're good. <laughs> Alex, after the first time it popped off, Alex got a new hose clamp to keep in the door. So hopefully that one does the trick. Yeah, I'm gonna, it's going in for warranty work at Ford in the next couple of days when we get back. So I'll be mentioning it, see what they do. Christening, christening, christening. First sip of beer and I um, <laughs> already can't talk. All right, boat bar's officially open. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. We've come down to the Yapoon foreshore just for a bit of a look, a bit of a walk while the sun's out. Yeah, finally got a bit of half decent weather. Yeah. Beautiful foreshore here. It is. It's still a bit windy, but so much to do. And I'll, I'll drop in something that I just found. There's so much that the community organises during the summer months, like music and all different events. How cool. So we put some pies and sausage rolls in the oven while we were doing our walk for the kids. And then I found a bakery, a French bakery that I really wanted to stop at. So that's where Alex and I have got our lunch. <laughs> Bit of potato salad and a pork and coleslaw roll. And then we got some nice little desserts to try. Righto guys, we're gonna pack up now, head away from um, this beautiful place. It's uh, Of course the weather's beautiful today, the water's yeah, glassy. <laughs> it is, but um, we're gonna keep moving. Yep. Putting this one on the list to come back to for sure because there's so much to do around here and we've done none of it. Yeah, it's hard um, with the weather we had, but. Def yeah, that's the problem. We're just running into bad weather, but. Um, it's the time of the year, I think. Is what it is though. Yeah, but we also know we've got like a bunch of great mates here now, so. Mm definitely somewhere we'll come back to. Mm, keep an eye on this campground though. Um, you can see the digger in the background there. They're building uh, an amenities uh, there that's gonna have like a outdoor shower and bath. It's gonna be amazing just looking out on this view. It's gonna be a really cool place when oh, it's all done. This is like, they've only just opened and this is barely like anything compared to what they're doing here. So yep. they're gonna have a swimming pool. It's just gonna be amazing. They've got all different amenities going in. So yeah, keep an eye on this place. It's gonna be the hot spot in Yapoon. I reckon. Back on the road. We are. Where are we heading? 
Tanham Sands we're gonna go. Which is, let me tell you, 160 kilometers. Roughly from your poo. Probably 170. Yeah, because we have been on the road for a few minutes now. Yep. Um, but we were just driving along and Alex said he wants to stop and empty the yep. tanks, the water tanks. Well, so we stayed at the Yapoon Farm stay. We've got three tanks and normally I have an order that we use them so that we go from the back of the caravan to the front with the layout of the tanks. I forgot about it this time and we've gone opposite and now, so now we've only got water sitting in the rear tank. And what that does is, some people won't understand this and this is why I just want to explain it. It's, it's then putting weight at the rear of the caravan and taking weight off our tow ball. And when your tow ball's too light, that's when you start having swaying issues. So we just went over a little bit of a, a whoop in the road and I went, oh, okay, I could just feel a little bit lighter on the wheels, nothing too bad, but I just want to transfer that water. So yeah. I'm going to chuck it into the front tank. So I just thought that was good to know because mm. I wouldn't have known anything about that. Mm. Yeah. Then, and that you can feel the difference when you're driving and towing, so. Yeah, so if you're if you're got a, a van that's swaying heaps, my suggestion would be the first thing is, is try to get some weight over that tow ball. It's generally what's gonna be the issue. Good to know. Well, we made it. We are staying at the Tanham Sands uh, Discovery Park, I believe. Um, there's a pool, there's a playground for the kids, there's a jumping pillow. We thought we might treat them for the last couple of days of the holidays. It's not something we usually do. We don't stay at a lot of caravan parks these days, but um, yeah, they should love it. Guys, we've come for a drive into Gladstone today. We're gonna to have a bit of a look around. And the reason we're intrigued in this place is approximately 37 years ago, <laughs> I was born here. <coughs> and um, so, mum and dad were here, I was born, and they left when I was three months old. And this is the first time I've been back since. So I have no idea what the place is like. But um, we're just checking out around the water now. There's a bit of a foreshore walk. Yeah, don't know, just check the place out. They've obviously spent a lot of money down here at this uh, boardwalk thing because most of it's covered, which is awesome because it means we can bring the dogs here without having to worry about burning their little footsies. That's what we've been running into heaps because it's so hot at the moment. We take our thongs off and feel the ground. It must be just ripping the dog's feet, so trying to walk them on the grass. They've used like the history of the town and what used to be here to make like a really cool walk with history and stuff and it's like it's really nice we're really impressed So, we've accidentally found a brewery. <laughs> I actually haven't even looked it up. Accidentally. <laughs> I hadn't even looked up where the breweries are here, but down on this um, foreshore, you can see the tanks. <laughs> so a little voice popped in my head and said uh, it would be rude not to. <laughs> so here we are. Good buddy. <laughs> So if you haven't figured it out already, that's our major downfall. We go to a brewery, we say, we'll have a beer, and we look at the menu and we go, oh, we'll have a bit of food too, that's it's lunch time. Right. It's lunch time, we'll, we'll eat it. Next week. And then there, yeah, we have another beer, and then, um, yeah, if money's we, gone. Uh, we spent $100. <laughs> Don't regret it though. 
it's that hot, <clears throat> you might be able to tell by my sweat moustache. <laughs> but the kids didn't even make it home. We walked past the golf court and they're in there fully clothed. So I don't blame them. I'd be in there too if I had anything to change into. But yeah, my God, it is a steamy one today. Have a good time, Tabe. <laughs> so the beauty of our caravan park is it's right across the road from Wild Cattle Creek. A uh, beautiful little spot, so we're gonna take the dogs and the kids down there. Bit of a cool down. Yeah, have a swim. Yeah. That water is absolutely beautiful. It's like the perfect temperature. <laughs> so nice. All right, what is for dinner, Erin? Having a bit of a roast, but it's kind of a cheats roast. It's just we're going to heat up this thing in the travel oven. All right, so this thing reckons. Um, 30 minutes at 210. The uh, little travel oven in the car goes to 180 when it's ripping. So I figure, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes, 50 minutes. But um, the veg we're gonna do in the barbecue. So we're gonna use that thing there. It'll got the little legs on it. One of these trays. Yep. So it actually like roasts more so than barbecues, we're mm. hoping. That's the plan. Hopefully it's delicious. Have a look at that. It's been a while since we've had uh, some roast veg. But um, have a look at this. That trivet's way too big. <laughs> way <Wow>. too big. <laughs> Lucky she gets hot. Boom. Pretty tender. All right, we're leaving beautiful Tanham Sands. Very impressive, this place. Yeah, we I, really liked it. I did not expect it, to be honest. No, we thought it was going to be a lot smaller. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Beautiful coastal town. But um, we got to get moving. We uh, we got camp for a cure coming up very soon, and we're running out of time. So <laughs> we got to get back to Brisbane to finish organising everything. And uh, yeah, we're about, what, six hours from Brizzy? Yes, and you know us, that means uh, 10 hours really. That's four days travel. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much is. <laughs> we're so bad. <laughs> oh, dear. Plus it doesn't help that we can never leave early. Like, we knew we had a six hour drive today and it's still 10 o'clock and we're only just leaving. <laughs> so, anyway. Let us know, are you like us? Can you not leave at the crack of dawn. There's, we were talking to people at the caravan park and they were saying they're the same. They just cannot get that, that early and leave. I don't so, know what's wrong with this. Yeah, drop it in the comments. Are you an early leaver or are you like us and leave late? <laughs> right on time. <laughs> well guys, that wraps up our trip up north. Absolutely amazing. Loved every bit of it. Even though the weather was pretty average, but we went and stayed at some absolutely amazing places. Uh, big bucket list item ticked off for me, catching that barra. Now I've got to chase that meter plus, so we'll be back up there. So many of those places we went to and so much more we want to go check out again. Um, so yeah, we got back to Brisbane because we had to finish organising camp for a cure. Um, we had it, it was an amazing event. We raised over $25,000 for Love Your Sister. If you haven't seen those videos, jump on back, check it out. Uh, we're already into organising camp for a cure 2025. Cannot wait, it's gonna be amazing. Um, we actually have a website now for Camp for a Cure as well. So campforacure.com.au, head over to that. There's photos from this year. Uh, that is where we'll start dropping information as we have things organized. And there is a subscription email list. So you can sign up so you know straight away when we have things announced for 2025. Uh, as for our videos from here, guys, we've got a little double island trip that I did with the kids that's coming up next week. 
uh, and then we have a few other little videos and then we'll get stuck into some caravan renovations again. So we've owned Bertha for over a year now. Uh, we've taken her up the Cape, up and down the coast, out west, um, giving her a bit of a beating. So she's due for some more reno work and just things that we know didn't really work out and we want to change. So you'll see that coming up. We're going to get stuck back into that. And then we're going to do a full rebuild on the uh, canopy on the Ranger because um, once again, we've had that set up for a while now. We know what we like, we know what we don't. We're going to fully change it. So um, yeah, stay tuned. Hope you're enjoying the content guys. Do all the good stuff, like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.